Charles finally gone. Powers gained and followers turned. I was waiting for him at the morgue exit, but a few more souls remained in the hospital that would surely give some extra credit for the kid. The hospital administrator had to be stripped down to his last breath to face the judgment of the underworld. Isaac Gilmore was born in this hospital, and the hospital kept his medical records. While looking for the morgue, Lucius found out that these actually contained some very useful information. It was the last stop before leaving the hospital behind. Hi guys, welcome back to Lucius Tick, and we are on the final floor of the hospital. Which is pretty fucking awesome, really. Let the murder commence once more. It's what I say, it's what I always say. It's been really fun so far. The game's a little glitchy, but it is a lot of fun. Without a doubt, I wholeheartedly recommend it. Are you alright, sir? Alright, you can call this number here for any Everyone, everyone wants to chat right. to me, and they're like, Are you okay. alright? You mm -hmm. alright? Mm -hmm. Little do they know, they're all going to die. Every last one. Howdy there, little mister. Everyone. Okay, so... There's a decompressurization chamber on this floor. And... It's like... It's through this door here, the controls... That's the, that's the, that's the, actual, that's the actual chamber there, and I can lock people in it. But... The controls are in this room here, so hopefully, if I throw something up into this vent here, I'll be able to get into the decompression room, is my plan. Whether or not that'll actually work out remains to be seen, but we'll see. Okay, and then we throw this in here. Nope, oh god. Come on, come on. There we go, beautiful. That guy freaks out. Please don't suspect me, please don't He's just leaving. Hello there, young man. Hi. How are you doing? Leave me alone, all of you. Oh, what's that? Oh, I, I think I'll wait to walk into the depressurization chamber. It seems pretty far here. I'm just going to stand here. Oh. Oh no. What am I doing? <laughs> oh god, that's quite a loud alarm. That's a deafening fucking alarm, actually. Holy fucking shit. Hide. Well, he died. Is she gonna freak out or...? Nah, obviously. The AI has a problem with not freaking out when it should sometimes, to be honest with you. But it's pretty funny. I love you to get away with murder. Can I turn it off? There we go. No, what? Uh, regardless, let's see. Uh, let's have a look inside. Oh god. We, oh god, I could have screwed myself here. Could have fucked myself. Hmm. Shut up! Come on, come on. Oh, you're waiting to it. There we go, there we go. Huh. Oh, I'm gonna go and walk into this decompressurization chamber. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna stand over here by my dead friend. He's gonna look at the body, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna look at the body instead of actually doing anything useful. See? He was freaking out of the body. He's dead now. <laughs> and no one suspects a thing. Do you suspect something, nurse? I wonder if you suspect anything. Will you just shut up, you stupid fucking machine? Holy fucking shit, that's loud. Mm, can I get her in there, do you think? Let's try. Oh, I'm just gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna try and go in the decompressurization room. Gonna go. Oh, gonna open it up. Gonna go in the decompressurization Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, the fucking fat body is in the way. Come on, come on. Come on, pull your bodywork into- bodywork? Body weight into it, nurse. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, nursey. Come on. Please. For me. For me! For- Fuck it. Okay. So we need to kill this nurse here. She has a key we need to get in the showers. We have to kill, like, the hospital administrator or something. <gasps> yeah. I'm not sure why. The plot in this is for- I fucking missed. I just missed! And she didn't even notice that plow into the wall next to her! What the fuck? I spent ages setting that trap up and I just wasted it! Oh well, I guess we can get- we can always, like, sort it out again, hang on. She won't see a thing, don't worry. That was rubbish. What are you doing? Come on. There we go, that's better. <gasps> you didn't see anything, don't worry, lady. Go away. Go away. There we go. 
Right, the trap is now set again. Let's put a wallet down just here. And we will await her return once more. What the fuck did I just do? Damn it. Drop. Come on. There we go. Alright, okay, so. We wait for her to come back. Walks in the line. Here she comes. We go bada bada boom. She's impaled. Everyone's happy. Here we go. That's better. Yeah. Oh god, it only hit her side. It only hit her side. Please bleed out. Please bleed out. Please. Please. That's better. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the key to the shower. This guy is having a shower. Hmm. I think he saw me there. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. We can break this open. Um, he's gonna die in the shower. I wish there was a way of like making the showers boiling hot or something. That'd be fun too. Really? Fucking really? Oh my god, really? There we go, there we go. Right. Are there any of these spiky things around here? Another one of spiky things? Yeah, they're there. On the wall there. Okay, come here. Let's get some spiky things. There we go. Nicely done. We pick up the spiky thing. Is it going to hit him right in the butt? Because that'd be interesting if it was. Yeah, right in the butt. <laughs> Hi. Bye. Okay, uh, these guys... Well, basically, I can't figure out how to kill these guys without direct brute force, and I'm going to assume the AI is going to be done and not see me kill any of them. Yeah, the AI is being pretty dumb. There we go, he's dead too. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, look, his friend in there doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a shit! Look, I'm just going to sit on the bench. Chill out. Huh. Okay, well, I found some dynamite and a timer. Um, so we're going to use it on this guy. Oh, I didn't mean to put it away. I didn't mean to put it away. Um, <laughs> this guy seems to be glitched out, so we're going to use it on him. He's just hyperventilating. Look at this to him. <gasps> Sound like fucking Scooby-Doo. How do I use this? Oh, I said it. <laughs> uh, I can't really see it from here. I need to get a better angle. Um, I'll watch it from here. Hi, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sometimes the AI glitches out like that. Other times it'll, it'll bust you. Like, uh, these videos are obviously edited, so you haven't seen me get busted, but yeah. That's what can happen. Anyway, we now have the objective, so we can make our getaway with the detective. Basically, all we were doing on this floor is killing the administrator and finding a... getting a getaway. Um, got a bit more information on Ludlow as well and the guy causing trouble there, the other son of Satan, but you guys keep asking for the story. There isn't really much of the story other than the cutscenes at the beginning of the level. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Damn it. This is all restricted. Okay. Do you like money? Do you like money? Throw that over there. He likes money. He likes money very much. Okay, go in here. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that's important. Uh... Oh, acid! I like acid. He likes money. I like acid. He likes money. I like acid. Okay, so. There's a guy in the morgue around the corner here guarding the final door, and I'm going to try and lure him into another one of these spike traps, because I've got a big... I'm, I'm really, like, a fan of these at the moment. Hi, morgue guy. Hi. Come get me. Hey, you're going for questions so, you know, he's, right if now. he grabs me, if he touches me, I'm dead. Okay, so here we go. He's going to come in now. <laughs> oh, please die! Please die! Please die! Come on! <laughs> and that is the end of the level, guys. We are leaving the hospital behind and heading to, uh, I think, Ludlow? Yeah, Ludlow. Uh, the detective guy, my servant, is waiting for me here. Awesome. Anyway, guys, um, I will see you next time in the next episode of Lucius. If you enjoyed, leave a like, a favorite, a comment. See you really fucking soon. Bye for now.